I've been kind of perturbed about the 49ers getting rid of John Embry. Felt like he was a good coach that had a role in the staff and now he's gone. Well, Mike McDaniel, first thing he does is scoop him up and make him the assistant head coach of the Miami Dolphins. Um, good for Mike McDaniel. Good for John Embry. I think this is a loss for the 49ers, but I reserve judgment because I don't know who the next tight end coach is going to be. And Kyle does have a good uh, ability to recruit, but John Embry to the Dolphins. What are your thoughts? I I, I would be happy for, for them staying together, going to, to Miami that way uh, with McDaniel. That definitely makes sense. I think it says a lot that McDaniel fears that his success is going to ride on keeping that kind of cohesion. I think a lot of it has to do with that. And I think as far as the 49ers are concerned, bringing in Lynn is one thing that ushered the both of them out. But I think it's that oh, yeah. they knew McDaniel was gone. They yes. knew that. They, obviously, they know it's before he goes. Yeah. He definitely, I'm sure there was a great heart to heart, open conversation. So they went out, got his replacement. The writing was on the wall. And I think that kind of ushers out Embry as well. And I think, yeah. I think that, I think that, that, that they kind of knew that McDaniel might do that. I feel also they might have been doing him favors by kind of opening that doorway for McDaniel. Yeah. It just seems to be the way the 49ers do business. And I do appreciate that. Well, I want to say, like, I, I assumed that it was possible the Niners could keep Embry if they said, look, we're taking away the title of assistant head coach, but we won't slash your salary. It's possible Embry would have said to that, hey, take a hike. I'll, I'm going to follow McDaniel to Miami and get the same salary, uh, the same title, not take a demotion and get a net profit because it's a non-taxed state. So things just worked out well for Embry. Maybe it was impossible for the Niners to keep him. Uh, and give Anthony Lynn his title. So I think this uh, is the bargain the Niners made. I think they felt, you know what? Anthony Lynn's better than John Embry. And I feel like Mike McDaniel's probably feeling like, you know what? Thank goodness the Niners feel that way because now I have an experienced assistant head coach to help me with this transition because he's never been the leader of anything ever, 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 ever. Yeah, and I, I just, like I said, I really think that bringing Lynn in is pretty much like having two assistant general managers in a restaurant. It just does not work. And like you said, can't it's do it. Just, can't coexist. Power, it's just not going to work. You can't have two assistant managers in a restaurant. You just can't. It, it doesn't fit on in the restaurant. <laughs> on peut. On peut. Lots on of peut. years in school and uh, no ability to actually speak it. Although I got good grades on tests until the AP test, because the AP test is just, hearing and speaking. And I was like, oh, I can only conjugate verbs on tests. Sorry, I can't do that. I don't Should think start. there's anyone who's tuned into this broadcast that actually has respect for the American standardized academic tests. So it's the system does that to you. It really is.